PA system, so this is, uh, I'm going to try and be as loud as I can. You're doing good. <laughs> if you could please rise, remove your covers for the national anthem. location, making a pitch to the Morris County Open Space Committee and telling them how many people from the area would walk or run around this park, this land, and like myself, marvel from a distance about the beauty of the grounds, but ne had never had the opportunity to set foot inside this property. It wasn't, an, it wasn't exactly a tear down this fence speech but rather an appeal to see the potential of the property and that we had an opportunity, a moment, a window of time, and that if we failed to act now, we would never get it back. My appeal was easy, as you can see. The grounds, remnants of the Geraldine Rockefeller Dodge Estate, speak for itself. Today, through the hard work of many, the gates are open for your enjoyment. You will hear me say thank you to a lot, of, a lot today, as there are many partners and key people who made this possible. Many of them will have an opportunity to speak and share their story, but before they do, I want to welcome them and our most distinguished guest, Congressman Rodney Freelinghuis. Freelinghuis' name has long been synonymous with land preservation and conservation efforts none greater than the efforts, efforts led by the congressman's father, Congressman Peter Freelingheisen, in establishing the Great Swamp Wildlife Refuge. I would also like to recognize and thank Catherine DiFilippo. Director of Morris County Freeholders, as well as those freeholders who couldn't be with us here today, Tom Estrangelo, John Cesaro, Doug Cabana, Dave Scarpic, Scarpic. Oh, Doug's here. I'm sorry. Uh, didn't see you, Doug. Wherever you are. Uh, John Crickus and Hank Lyon. The executive director of the Morris County Park Commission, Mr. Dave Helmer. He was interested in the success of the deal and the park's future. Mr. Terrence Nolan from the Open Space Institute. the architect of the deal. I, ca I cannot say enough good things about Terrence. He, he brought the deal together, and in many, many ways, he kept it together, always looking for and finding solutions to obstacles. Terrence is also the keeper of the list, as we like to say it. That's the list uh, of all the many, many people we need to thank. And if I don't mention you here today, Terrence will get to you, and he has you on your list. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Glenn Schweitzer, who couldn't be here today, today from the Municipal Utilities Authority. And I would also like to uh, 
thank Normandy Partners, our corporate partners who put their capital at risk and their faith in myself and many others to successfully closing the deal. My good friend Nick Platt is here from the mayor of Harding Township. Nick is a one-man lobbying machine. Uh, Nick would talk to anyone and everyone about the importance and grandeur of this deal and how it had to happen. He called me very early on in the process and said, whatever you are thinking, you have to get this done. He was right. Thank you, Nick. And he also provided valuable historical uh, perspective to our Township Open Space Committee who did so much work today in preparing this and putting together this uh, fine bulletin. Ms. Sue Seabolt is here from New Jersey DEP Green Acres, somewhere. The vision of Green Acres is the following. To achieve in partnership with others a system of interconnected open spaces whose protection will preserve and enhance New Jersey's natural environment and its historic, scenic, and recreational resources for public use and enjoyment. Sue, you can put a check in that box. I think we have it covered. Thank you. I want to thank our neighboring towns, particularly Harding. I mentioned Nick already. Madison, Mayor Bob Conley is here. Thank you. <laughs> Morris Township, Chatham Borough, and Long Hill Township. My good friend Guy Pesucci is here today somewhere. They all supported us and or passed resolutions uh, in support of our grant application to the Morris County Open Space Committee. Sally Rubin from the Great Swamp Watershed, Watershed Association. Sally, understanding the environmental impact of this property, was with us and supported us every step of the way. Thank you, Sally. We're Sally. <laughs> Also, all of the other Morris County directors and staff, Ms. Dina Leary, Director of Planning and Public Works, Ms. Barbara Murray, Open Space Program Coordinator, and so many others who were involved. Thank you, and if I missed anyone, I know Terrence has you on his list. A few final thank yous to those who were involved from Chatham Township. First, the Chatham Township community members, Kathy Abbott, Bailey Brower, Bob Gallup, and Deputy Mayor Kurt Ritter, who's here today as well as our new members, Karen Swartz and Mike Kelly, who is our liaison to the Open Space Committee. Thank you very much. Through many executive discussions, we continually came to the same conclusion, keep going, move forward. The members of our Open Space Committee, led by Joe Bosralian, who many of you met at the front gate, who put together this event today, I can't say enough good things about them. Joe provided valuable information and guidance as we move through the process, and I can't thank him enough for his efforts in seeing this through. And his work with the Township Open Space Committee is not done as we are making efforts. Joe's work and the efforts of the committee are not done as we are making efforts to improve what we have already here. It's not often that I thank lawyers, but <laughs> was our legal account, our legal counsel. Numerous emails, multiple conference calls, meetings, changes to changes, and 1,000 pages of legal documents later, we had a deal. Terrence and I, Terrence Nolan and I, we're joking that at one point the deal was getting so complicated with so many lawyers that the lawyers needed lawyers to figure out what was going on. But Mr. Cruz was steadfast in ensuring all aspects of the agreements were understood and continuously watched out for and protected the interests of Chatham Township. Our attorney, Mr. Cruz, would later remark about the deal, and not talking about himself, that what we were able to accomplish was nothing short of remarkable. Maybe, but it could not have happened without him. Last, Tom Chicarone, Chatham Township Administrator. Tom likes to say he's a people person. Sometimes we take exception to that, but, but his skills were never more on display than when it came to this deal. A little cajoling here, some slight arm twisting there, what's another 100,000 among friends, and soon we were full funded at $14.1 million.
task, and one wondered how he would get there. Tom would later say, in his 30 plus years of public service, that this was the finest he's ever seen. Multiple government agencies, corporate partners, and nonprofits worked together in support of a common goal. Much of it was due to him. Thank you, Tom. Tom? <laughs> Unfortunately, Tom, we will not be able to honor your request and change it to Chick around the Park. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the only, that's the only problem. But, uh, There's always <laughs> Finally, I want to say thank you to the volunteers of the Morris County Open Space Committee for having the foresight to recommend full funding of the largest grant ever put forth in Morris County and the courage of the freeholder board unanimously approving it. It is a legacy that we can and will be extremely proud of. Thank you all. Thank you for coming. At this time, I would like to invite Congressman Freelingheisen to come forth and say thank you. Congratulations uh, to Calvin Sullivan and uh, all the aforementioned. Uh, let me say this is the first time for me inside the wire, too. <laughs> and I think all of you would agree, uh, as we pass by, whether you're running or, or walking as a pedestrian or you're driving, uh, you always wonder what's inside the gate here. And, and, and these are God's beautiful acres. And all of us here are a part of, let's say, the immediate family that live in this area. But this area will now be open to all of the Morris County public. And for that, I think we deserve a round of applause to those who put it together. I'm going to yield my time to uh, Nick Platt, who is the historian and who, with Kevin, has been very pivotal here. Uh, uh, this is a remarkable public and private partnership. It might be interesting to know, while I'm here as your federal representative, there's no federal money here. <laughs> so, so the money here uh, comes from the state of New Jersey's Green Acres, the generosity of uh, the freeholders led by Kathy DeFilippo, the Open Space Committee, the communities of, Ch uh, of Chathams, uh, all those who have uh, put uh, money on the line, and the organization that went in here is incredible. I I'm proud of you all. Uh, God bless America. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, when I was putting together remarks, uh, I wanted everyone to come away saying, boy, this Platt fellow is short-winded. Um, I, too, would like to thank all the uh, groups that help put this together. Uh, Mayor Sullivan, the Township Committee of uh, Chatham. Uh, it's a magical place. And to Dave Helmer, who lent his guidance and the roadmap to Normandy Partners, uh, Finn Wentworth and, and uh, David Welsh, uh, even the name Normandy is imposing. So, I mean, why would anybody want to go against so, uh, someone with a name like that? Um, Terrence Nolan, the Open Space Institute, and uh, Mayor Bob Conley for his, his uh, support, and the unsung heroes, which I would say would be the Mars County uh, Open Space Commissioners, who again, as, as the mayor said, had the foresight to, and the courage, to uh, spend this kind of money uh, on such a wonderful place. This morning, I'd like to share with you a story, a family story, that very few people know. And it's what makes this ribbon cutting so significant this morning. On December 3rd, 1959, residents of Mars County woke up to the news that the Port Authority of New York planned to put an airport in the Great Swamp. Now, not just any airport, the world's largest airport, consuming 10,000 acres Today, it would be the largest airport in America. Four 12,000-foot runways. And the significance and the impact to this portion of Morris County would be measurable. Congressman Freelandheisen's father, Peter, led the battle, along with Helen Fenske and tens of thousands of others, and stopped it. But back then, there wasn't a clear understanding about open space or uh, preserving a swamp, in order to stop 
the airport, they had to save the swamp. It took three U.S. presidents and an act of Congress to do so, and it took over a decade. What few people know is that behind me, about 500 yards up the hill, Geraldine Dodge was working with her advisors over Thanksgiving in 1959, coming up with a plan to preserve all of Geralda Farms, all 300 acres. She was going to be turning her home into a museum, all the outbuildings, which included barns and stables, were going to be preserved as it was when she and Marcy Dodge bought the estate in 1916. She became very despondent as a result of hearing of the Port Authority's plans. And she rethought her will. And in 1961, she changed it. Because after all, who would want to come to a house that was on the direct takeoff line of runway 50? And that began what has become of Geralda Farms and what makes today so significant. The borough of Madison did a major subdivision and developed a corporate park, which I say to everyone, it could have been worse. It's a beautiful park. But Chatham Township left this last 162 acres uh, undeveloped and it wasn't that it was not under attack, but there was never a clear plan. So it was a perfect opportunity for everyone to come together. I want to leave you with a sobering note. The state of New Jersey is the most populated state in the Union. Every day we see our quality of life diminish. What we are seeing today could never happen again. The county open space trust fund is running out of money. Public referendum after public referendum comes out showing the taxpayers are willing to pay taxes for open space. And I am calling on freeholder director DeFilippo and the rest of the Mars County freeholder board in 2016 to raise the open space tax. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Kathy DiFilippo, and this is Doug Cabana, one of my freeholders. Uh, it's great to be here and to dedicate this uh, property, this public track, and this trail system. Uh, many thanks, as you've already heard, uh, deserve to go back to Chatham Township, to the DEP, to the FM Kirby Foundation, Geraldine Dodge Foundation, Open Space Institute, Normandy Real Estate Partners, the Morris County Park Commission, the Morris County MUA, and all of the other individuals who you heard about today who made this morning happen. Thank you. We cannot say thank you enough. This new preserve is a spectacular addition to the county's existing network of natural lands and trails. It connects greenways and enhances the recreational opportunities and improves the quality of life for residents in this county. It's a testament to the continued importance of the county's Open Space Trust Fund, which helps make and preserves projects like this. This purchase included the largest single grant at $10 million in the history of the county's Open Space Trust Fund, and I, for one, am proud of that, and I know many of you here today are. It was also very gratifying that we had a unanimous vote from all the freeholders that they felt that this was an important piece of property to hold on to. In addition to preserving this natural beauty and enhancing the recreational opportunities, preservation helps protect our environment, our sensitive lands, and our water supply. I'd like to thank again my fellow freeholders and the previous freeholder boards who have had the foresight to understand the importance of, of creating an open space trust fund and maintaining it. 
The current Morris County Free Board, Board has a close watch on county spending. For the past three years, we've kept the tax rate at a zero percent. Last year, we did not cut back on the open space. We kept it flat. That I know will continue. I'm confident. Whether I can get another half a penny back, we'll see. We got a new board to work with. <laughs> Yet we clearly understand the importance of open space. So we have maintained, would voter approve, the tax for the open space trust fund. We know that preservation improves the quality of life for our residents and makes this county more attractive to businesses and to visitors. And visitors bring money, and businesses bring money to Morris County. So we're attracting them with another beautiful piece of property like this. So on behalf of the uh, Board of Chosen Freeholders, both Doug and I would again like to thank all of you for being partners here today. And I encourage everyone in Morris County to come out and visit this beautiful property. Thank you. I'll hop in briefly. Uh, hello again. My name is Terrence Nolan. Thank you, Mayor. Um, yes, I do have the list. Some of you may be thanked twice because of, uh, and some of you who may not be thanked know our hearts are grateful. Um, I'm feeling really grateful today. It's, not, it's so unusual to have the day that you opened the park is the day that you celebrate it. Um, Dave Helmer, you made it look beautiful. Um, park Commission, uh, thank you. You know, this was a project that very well could not have happened. In fact, um, it was like 30 of us all together at one point making it happen. I just want to, you know, special thank you to the Normandy folks who define, in my mind, good corporate citizenship. They put real money down to risk to make this happen, and it wouldn't have happened without them. Um, so thank you. Uh, we were one of 12 bidders in, a, um, in what could have ended up either being another giant building here, or you may have looked over and saw 232 homes, uh, houses clustered, but the result here is what you'll have forever. So even uh, 50 years from now, they may not remember the story of how it happened, but they're going to have their park. The, your kids and your grandkids are going to have this park. So um, let me just um, thank uh, some of the, the, the important um, private philanthropy that came in, in, at the last minute to make this happen. I think Mrs. Dodge would be very um, happy and is smiling down on this result. And Margaret Waldock is here. And we really thank the Dodge Foundation for their financial support. I know that uh, Dillard Kirby is here somewhere in the audience. And the Kirby Foundation supports uh, lots of good environmental uh, initiatives in uh, Morris County and beyond. So thank you to the Kirby Foundation as well. Um, I want to thank the, the, the congressman because um, uh, I've had the pleasure of working with your office in my previous role at Trust for Public Land and now at OSI. And uh, our mutual friend and my hero, Frank Parker, I think would be uh, very happy about this event. Thank you for all the work you've done to, make, to preserve the Great Swamp and all the federal lands in this area. Thank you, congressman. Um, Um, and let me just say, I, you know, I'll get to the mayor last and Tom last, um, but I want to thank, though, for the moment, uh, that really Morris County freeholders and Morris County, you know, we had um, the MUA, we had the Park Commission, we had the Open Space Trust Fund, and this was a lot of money, and it wouldn't have happened unless they came in on time. And, you know, you have, having, I work, we work at OSI all up and down the coast, uh, United States, Eastern Seaboard. You have something very special here in Morris County. You have a team of people who are investing in your future in open space. So, I mean, I want to thank the freeholders. I want to thank the staff who managed it, Barbara Murray in the back and her colleagues who managed the trust fund, um, the park commission, all the commissioners, everybody who came together to make this happen. So give yourselves an applause and thank you so much. No, no, nothing happens um, with respect to open space in New Jersey without green acres, and that's a true. That's true, and I'm so happy that um, voters approved new rounds of funding. We just need that money to 
move forward. But there was Green Acres money in this project, like so many others. And Sue Sebo is one of my favorite people to work with at Green Acres, and she's here. So thank you, Sue. All right, now I, I know Sally Rubin is out there as well. I, she was an early adopter. I remember uh, driving up to the fence line um, just off of Woodland here with Sally, looking through the fence, and we're like, this has to, don't you think this has to be a park? She's like, absolutely, this has to be a park. <laughs> What, are, what, do we, what do we have to do to make this happen, she said. So I, I really see her volunteer network uh, embracing and loving this place, keeping it as beautiful as it, as it is, and working with Dave and, uh, and, and the town to make this uh, you know, a beautiful park forever. So thank you, Sally, for what you do. Um, I, I think I'm almost done. I mean, I should, I should thank the lawyers, because the lawyers needed lawyers, and we should thank the lawyers. John Napolitano, if he's here, I, I really appreciated working with him. Let me just say um, that uh, my two favorite people that I've met in the last year have to be um, Mayor Kevin Sullivan and Tom Chickarone, who uh, we slogged through every possible problem you can imagine and found a solution. So, um, you know, this, this, this mayor, this administration, your, your town council in Chatham is, uh, is a really strong leadership team, and uh, you should be proud to have them, and I'm certainly proud to call them uh, partners, colleagues, and, and friends. So good job to you all, and thank you. Um, all right. I think I got everybody. I don't know, um, except my colleagues who are here from OSI, and uh, um, Tally and Lori Jean. I don't know if we have trustees. But anyway, we, we work throughout New Jersey, throughout New York, up and down the East Coast. We want to do more of this stuff, so keep in touch. And uh, thank you all very much. I'd like to thank Mayor Sullivan and his residents uh, for their hospitality today. Also note that uh, freeholder Master Angelo is here with us as well. And I have a number of my uh, nine bosses here with me today. Uh, Betty Cashmitt is uh, president of the Morris County Park Commission. Julie Barron, Park Commissioner. And I believe I see Kim Wentworth also is here today with us from the Park Commission. At events like this, I'd like to take the opportunity to, to place a heartbeat uh, on the land and the lands that surround it and give folks a bit of a history uh, of maybe why we're here today. Um, and, it, and it has taken quite some period of time uh, since basically the late 50s for us to get to this point. Um, Geralda, St. Geralda, Spanish patron saint of orphans. Geralda, the bell tower of the Seville Cathedral in Spain. This all started for me one day when Tom Chicarone, the administrator for Chatham Township, called me. And I knew it was going to be not an easy one because Tom and I have worked on a few projects over the last few years in Chatham Township uh, that, that took up quite a bit of energy and partnership uh, to move forward. But I think really for the Park Commission, this project really started in 1957. Uh, the importance of seeing this tract of land remain undeveloped has been clearly identified in Chatham Township's application to the Morris County Open Space Trust Fund, including most importantly watershed protection, habitat protection, and expanded hiking and bicycling opportunities as it relates to Luanica Brook Reservation. These are all consistent with the Morris County Park Commission's interest, which once again began in 1957. This 136-acre tract, which includes 34 acres across Woodland Avenue, was once 550-acre Geralda Farms, owned by Marcellus Hartley Dodge and Geraldine R. Dodge. What history laid before this property prior to its preservation? The 1985 Madison Heritage Trail pamphlet written by Frank Esposito speaks to Loantica Valley, specifically the farms of A.M. Treadwell and W.M. Kitchell in the area of what is now known as Geralda Farms, which were chosen by General George Washington as one of the billeting locations for the Continental Army's 1776 and 77 winter quarters at the intersection of Woodland Avenue and Treadwell Avenue at a point where Chatham, Harding, and Morris Townships meet. Loantica is the Lenai Lenape word for place of the cold winter. Beginning in 1957, Marcellus Hartley Dodge and Geraldine R. Dodge and the first director of the Park Commission, Russell Myers, began meeting about the potential to preserve the land along Lawanica Brook. The property at the time was not in the Park Commission's master plan because the land was be deemed to be too expensive. Mr. Dodge said he believed he could gather some friends and convince them to begin donating land to preserve the land on both sides of the brook thereby establishing a greenway and to allow the property to be used for walking and horseback riding. Mr. Dodge was true to both 
to his word both while he was alive and after he passed. Seventeen families donated land to establish and enhance Lawanica Brook Reservation. Those donations continued actually through 1982. One such parcel donated by the Dodges is the Helen Hartley Jenkins Woods, which is located between Kitchell Road and the trailhead right across the street from the entrance you walk through today. As the deed notes, this area should be kept as a natural forest for the purpose of protecting and preserving wildlife therein, the flora and fauna and scenic beauties, as nearly as may be in their natural state. And in the spirit of that donation, the intended use of this tract of land is embodied. It should also be noted that Mrs. Dodge retained a 200-foot right-of-way through the property during her lifetime as a line of vista so she could continue to enjoy the uninterrupted surroundings from her home. In 1976, when the Prudential Insurance Company acquired the then 384 acre estate, the property looked pretty much as it did 60 years ago when William Rockefeller bought it from D. Willis James as a marriage gift for his daughter, Geraldine, and son-in-law, Marcellus Hartley Dodge. But the citizens concerned about the future of the Dodge estate became worried because this property was owned for single family houses on one and a half acre lots, in addition to the 204 acres in Madison Borough, which also could have been developed for housing. In 1978, the then owners of the property began discussing with the Park Commission the potential of taking over the paved trail around the Geralda corporate campus. But that initiative did not move forward, but the Woodland Avenue trailhead that you see here today off of Lawanica Brook Reservation was installed to connect the paved perimeter trail around the corporate campus. In 1993, the Park Commission had a public hearing for a New Jersey Green Acres application to add a 25-acre parcel known as the Lawanica Moraine to the park. The moraine was an essential recharge component of the Buried Valley Aquifer System, and the communities of Chatham Borough, Florham Park, and Madison depend on this aquifer recharge for potable water supply. That property is located in the corner of Woodland and Lawanica Way and is in the borough of Madison. The acquisition of the moraine was funded with the Park Commission's first allocation from the Morris County Open Space Trust Fund and a matching New Jersey Green Acres grant and loan. The, the public hearing comments included the following. Lawanica Brook Reservation became a unit of the Morris County Park Commission in December of 1957. With land donations from Marcellus Hartley and Geraldine Dodge, Mr. and Mrs. J. Spencer Weed, and Mr. and Mrs. George E. Potter. Within a few years, some of Morris County's greatest families joined the list of donors, including Mr. and Mrs. Paul Moore, which also donated Seton Hackney Stables to the Park Commission, Mr. and Mrs. Alan P. Kirby, Mr. and Mrs. Marcus Northup, Louise S. Shifflin, Mr. and Mrs. Robert E. Waterman, and Mr. and Mrs. Adrian Platt. The vision of the donors was to create a linear greenway to protect the Lawanica Brook, a major tributary to the Great Swamp. The acquisition of this tract of land, although of high significant cost, should also be seen in conjunction with the many acres of land donated to the residents of Morris County to become one of the most active parks in the park system, with over, over 350,000 park users using the property per each year. It also should be noted that Preservation of open space and the protection of Morris County's cultural and historic resources continue to be of importance to the majority of residents in Morris County. And I hope there are still members of the citizens concerned about the future of the Dodge Estate here today because you showed great patience. So prior to the land acquisition, the Wanaka Brook Reservation was 744 acres. Today it is now 880 acres. And the eight-mile trail system has been extended to 9.3 miles on the ground today with an additional one mile of trail to be added on this site after the trail improvements on the property are completed. I would like to say a special thanks to Terrence Nolan of the Open Space Institute who guided us through this acquisition from start to finish and without his commitment and dedication to the project we may still be in negotiations or not. Terrence has been involved with numerous open space preservation, uh, preservation projects throughout Morris County as a trusted partner. This was not a simple acquisition by all means, and it may have topped a project I worked on with Mayor Rick Watson a number of years ago in Morris Township, where we had to obtain Vatican approval <laughs> to acquire the St. Mary's Abbey property in, in Morris Township that's now part of Lewis Morris County Park. I also have to acknowledge two of uh, the Park Commission staff here today, uh, the Manager of Park Projects, Russ Felter, and Trails Foreman, Russ Nee. Um, <laughs> who over the last few weeks really helped transform uh, this property as you see it today. We had great help from our uh, corporate friends uh, next door with cutting the grass, but we've had our shade tree folks in here resurface some of the property uh, to be able to celebrate today's National Trails Day. Um, and I once again want to thank uh, Chatham Township for being such a great host. Thank you.
that, that uh, concludes our speaker portion today. I want to thank all, all of you for coming. I want to thank the, uh, the speakers and the partners who made it possible. I want to thank my family for being here today, my wife. You always have to thank them, and thank you all for coming. Uh, we're going to have a symbolic cutting of the ribbon, and then you uh, certainly can feel free to walk the trails. The trails are not complete. It will be extended. The park actually extends uh, to the west, but we have some work to do over there, and uh, that's not quite complete. So uh, the park uh, will expand, and it'll expand all the way over to Treadwell and opening on Treadwell Avenue. So we're looking forward to that. So if I could just ask the, uh, the, the, the partners to join me over by the ribbon, ribbon and uh, we'll cut this and uh, open it up. One, two, three.